guys, welcome back to another video and I'm so thankful that you are here. Today we're gonna be doing a self-portrait photo shoot because I have nothing else to do. And I've been wanting to do this ever since we started the self-quarantine thing, but I couldn't really wrap my head around it until now. I did this challenge two years ago, so I think it's about time that I do it again. And I was able to practice last week for my previous video. Just a reminder, if you plan to do self-portraits, I think it's best that you do the ideas that feel the most you. Because all these ideas you see on YouTube can be really cool, but I think the biggest point of a self-portrait is that you're the subject you should do the ideas and the creative looks that relate to you even if it's like super crazy or super artsy I think it should be ideas you feel really drawn to don't just do ideas because other people are doing it so if it seems cool but it's really not your style don't feel pressured to do it I feel like the best art is made when you relate to it like for example if you don't feel like doing serious emotions or like fierce facial expressions you can always stick to smiling or or like laughing just do the expressions that feel like it relates to your personality that's just like my tip for the day anyway we're gonna do around three layouts today my house is not that big my walls are yellow and I don't have much natural lighting around my house but we are gonna make it work with our trusty softbox right here and whatever we have so our first layout is gonna start right here with this backdrop which is my white curtains the only white background that I have in my house we're gonna start off simple I'm gonna use this sweater and again I'm probably gonna do ideas and use props that are very relatable to me. So I'm gonna change my lens and it's gonna be a manual lens so that's gonna be another challenge for us today. I'm gonna try to get all these photos in focus because we're using a manual lens but if it doesn't I guess it'll just add to the art of the photo. We're gonna try to do some normal headshots first and then I'm gonna try to add props later on. I feel like the first layout is always like a trial run for me. I still have to get the hang of it and get more creative. So at first I did a few headshots and then I added some tool to give like a glowy, dreamy effect and I hope that kind of worked well. I also incorporated the curtains and then I tried doing some shots with some coffee. Again, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. Not really sure if I did a good job for this layout. So I'm gonna go set up the camera for our next layout. Hopefully it'll turn out better. This wall is gonna be our second layout. I know it looks kind of weird, but we're gonna try to make it work. I'm kind of having a hard time coming up with poses because I guess whenever you are shooting just by yourself, I guess we're all pretty conscious. We're constantly thinking if we look good or not. But I'm gonna try to treat this as if I wasn't shooting myself in a way, but at the same time, of course, it is a self-portrait. I don't know how that's gonna go because I'm running out of ideas. Hopefully it all works out. I'm still in the second layout and I'm trying to do a mirror shot. Softbox is right there and I'm having such a hard time. <laughs> I think this is like the classic self-portrait when you use a mirror. I mean, I'm trying to make it more dramatic than just taking a picture in front of the mirror, but we'll try. So I just finished layout two and a half, I guess. That was really hard. So sorry if the photos aren't that great because I am definitely running out of ideas. All I can think of is coffee and coffee props. I don't understand why, but that's all in my mind right now. So I'm not sure if you guys like the photos. Now I'm just gonna do the third one. Hopefully we can get something good out of this because I am sweating and I am super tired from doing the first two layouts. I mean, it's fun, but it's also exhausting because you're thinking of new ideas ideas because I didn't think of them beforehand. It's also really hard because I'm using a softbox and I'm trying to work around that. I think it would be a lot easier if it was natural lighting personally for me but doing a self-portrait I think it is more of a challenge nowadays because people are so used to doing like selfies but to make it look more like a portrait instead of a selfie you guys know what I'm saying I think that's when it gets a little frustrating and hard but also very fun. We're gonna do the last one I'm gonna try to put a story in it if not I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna try to incorporate flash here. Let's hope that works out. And I'm gonna try to find an outfit that works with this setup. Okay, so we're about to do our last layout and I wore a dress. The vibe is like a nighttime look because it's actually really nighttime and I felt like this would go well with the flash. So let's go. Oh my god. 
much. I'm not sure what I did. Okay, so honestly, I feel like I failed. I'm not sure because I haven't seen the photos yet. I feel like I didn't do that great. I'm not sure if I really pushed the boundaries. Maybe it's because of my environment. Maybe it's because I don't have natural lighting. I feel like if I had more natural lighting, my creativity would have been better. And I feel like I got some good shots, but overall, I'm not sure if I really did well. But at least I did it and since I failed I think I will learn from that and hopefully this video inspires you guys to do better than me I bet you guys will do a better job than me because I'm not sure what I did today I hope this inspires you to do something creative even when you're at home maybe this video gave you an idea or something I don't know I hope it did oh my gosh I am not gonna do this again in a long time maybe two years from now again anyway that's all I have for today not much but that's all I have if you guys did enjoy Hopefully you can subscribe if you haven't and if you do give this video a like I would really appreciate that even if I probably don't deserve it Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye